So I see you, you already have a few questions for me. Um, yeah, I worked at uh, Amplitude Studios for the um, Dungeon of the Endless team. I was the lead programmer. Um, I really liked working on this game. It was a very nice experience. Super nice team. And pretty good game, if you ask me. Let me just lower the game just a bit. Are you working just by yourself on the game? Um, actually, I'm working with um, Corentin Brazard, which is a sound designer. So he's making the music that you hear right now and the sound effects of the game. It's still pretty early, so uh, what you are hearing is actually uh, the, the very first draft of, of his work. Mm, and. Um, Apart from the sound, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty much working solo on this uh, on this project. So I'm doing programming, uh, modeling, animation, um, game design, obviously, and all the stuff that goes around marketing, streaming, <laughs> as you can see. Um, checking the chat. So the sound is okay for you? Okay. Okay, cool. So I'm trying a new software to hide the background behind me. So it seems a bit glitchy for now, but you may see a watermark also passing by sometimes. Uh, yeah, just testi testing stuff to to look a bit less amateur. Okay, um, I don't know if you guys already saw the first stream I made about the game, um, where I introduced the the gameplay concept, the a few mechanics. Um, I'll go over it um, for a few minutes once again just to show you in, in a bit more details how, how the, the game works so don't hesitate to ask questions as I explain the, the stuff okay so the game is called No Plan B it's a, an advanced tactical planning game uh, where you are basically the leader of your team and your role will be to, to come up with the, the best plan possible for your squad to execute and complete the mission. So you will have, on the long run, you will have different types of missions. Uh, right now in the alpha version, you only have the kill them all objectives. So basically it, it means uh, you will have to clear the, the buildings uh, in which you will, uh, you will spawn. You will have different difficulties, different size of buildings, different size of team. Yeah, so basically the goal is to scan every room and try to clear the wall building from any enemies. Uh, the game runs is in two phases. The first one is the planning phase, which is this one, where you have some highlights on the walls, you have the blue background. And the second phase is the execution. So once you are um, okay with your plan, you can launch it using this button right here. And once you've done it, you cannot change anymore your plan. It's a bit like in Gladiabots, if you, if some of you did play the game. So once you launch the, 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 the execution phase, you cannot do anything. You just have to, to, to wish that your plan will execute as you planned and uh, that everything goes uh, as smoothly as possible. You will have a few equations to, to change your plan, actually. Um, as soon as one of your units will be downed, uh, I, I'm using the downed term because they will not really be killed. Um, because as you will see later in the campaign, a unit is not um, killed right away when it fails a mission, but it's, it's more like an injury. 
uh, estates, so you, you will have a chance to revive them between missions. Anyway, so when you one of your unit is uh, injured, you will have the, the game that will automatically pause for you and give you the opportunity to go back in the planning phase to change what what happens next. Because sometimes you may have one guy that is uh, responsible for throwing a grenade, and maybe if he's, if this guy dies, uh, you, you want to to change the rest of your plan. So uh, let me see if you have some questions. Can you can you ping me in the chat if you have questions about what I'm what I'm explaining, so I can see easier, more easily. Uh, wha question I should answer. Do characters will have abilities, classes gain experience after missions, allowing them more weapons, armors, attributes, or they are all the same? For now they are pretty much the same, but yeah indeed uh, on the long run you, you will be able to, before the mission, to customize your team. Um, there should be a, a kind of a deck system, a bit like in XCOM. So you will have a team of members you can recruit uh, along the campaign, and you each uh, each member of your team will have different attributes. Uh, there will be a class system, I think. And so first, you will have to to compose your team to choose their uh, weapons and also equipments like uh, flash grenades, uh, frag grenades stuff like that and every every choice you make in this phase will be will have an impact in the game because the more uh, the heavier the, the your your member will be the slower he will be the slower to to move but also to aim and to react to different uh, um, situations so you will have to to find a good compromise between being well equipped and being uh, um, fast enough to execute the plan as you as you want. Um, but this phase is not is not there yet. Yeah, that's something you cannot customize uh, just now. I'm trying to focus on the the core gameplay, so uh, the really the planning and e execution phase, and the de deployment phase, as I call it for now, will be done a bit later in the development process. And when you will play the campaign, uh, you you will be able to, to to unlock new stuff. So you, you uh, uh, with the experience, the, the the team members will improve in uh, handling s certain weapons, certain uh, attachments, and the more you play with your with your guys, the more they will be experienced in what you are used to make them uh, do. So yeah, definitely uh, all this kind of stuff. Yeah, the only so the Kiyo Nari says, "Oh, the only one try aspect is nice." Yeah, that's something. Um, I don't know if you guys played uh, Door Kickers, for instance, but I love this game. It's really one of my mm, favorite game f uh, from of all time. And in this game, it's really it's really cool to be able to, to tweak your plan as you go, as you go along. But sometimes um, I think it's a bit too easy, actually. And I often f uh, try to finish a mission with only one plan, so I try to plan everything from the entry points to the final uh, room check. And but the game is not really made for it, because y you, you don't have a really convenient way to synchronize your movements. You, you, when you, your plan becomes long, you don't really know exactly how the team will be um, at certain points. So that's why actually, that's what actually made me think about this concept. Um, try to do the same, but with more tools to, to anticipate what will go on in time. So that's what we'll, we'll discuss uh, just after that. Uh, 
are there some stealth infiltration elements in the game? Uh, not yet, but yeah, that's something also I want to 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 implement. I'm also a big fan of Metal Gear Solid, uh, of the Metal Gear Solid uh, series. Uh, so that's definitely something I want to try. Um, it's not yet in the game, but um, pretty soon you should be able to um, change the attitude of your members. Right now they are pretty much in the default attitude, which is rather aggressive. So they will shoot on sight, they move pretty fast. And later I want to introduce new, new modes, new rules of engagement. Like you would have a mode where the, the guys are slower, move slower, but are more focused so they can aim faster, have a better precision and also their AI will be a bit different. They won't, they won't shoot on sight, they will try to approach the, the enemies as close as possible and only shoot them if they are a danger for, for the team, if they saw you, if they engage you, etc. And uh, also, they you, you will be able to use silenced uh, weapons um, that will have some drawbacks, but yeah, definitely some stealth and uh, infiltration uh, stuff going on. Yeah, risk reward. reward. Yeah. Okay, so. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, you should definitely try door kickers if you didn't already. I think the game should not be too expensive. Ah, the, the Steam summer sales is over, but uh, still I think the game is not not so expensive. Like 10, 10 12 euros, dollars, not sure. Okay, so um, let me show you the, the controls maybe of the game. So. The basic controls I can start with are the camera. So I've added a, s a small uh, mouse icon here, so you can see what I'm doing. Uh, you can see my my pointer, but also which buttons I will uh, use. So you can drag the the map around using the left click, but also the middle click. Not sure yet if I will keep both of them, but uh, I guess there will be an option for that. The right click is used to rotate and tilt the camera. So you have, you are totally free to to change the angle to get a better understanding of the layout of the map, of the different covers, uh, different um, spaces and volumes of the of the rooms, how the the doors are, are set up, etc. And you also have um, in the planning phase you have this kind of. Um, overlay that will uh, highlight the, the walls in the layout but also the doors that's the orange uh, lines you see here and I also recently added the, um, the door um, handles I don't know that's the, the, the right name anyway the, the it allows you to, to know in which direction direction which angle would be used to open the, the, the door. Um, now the, the control of your of your team. So you can obviously select your unit using the, the left click. So right now it's a pretty small uh, mission so I have um, only two guys in my in my team. So I can select them like this. I can uh, select a different entry point. Right now there's only one in this map but I can decide to put this guy here or here, this guy over there. <coughs> that's totally free. And um, so that's for the, the basic uh, selection of your units. Now let's see how to move them. So I just have to select one of my units and I have two ways two ways to, to move my units. Either a bit like in door kickers by dragging them around as you can see, it follows a, a small grid uh, on the on the ground, so I can drag drag them around and describe very precisely where I want them to go. 
and I also can uh, use the right click. So this was using the left click, obviously, and I can also use the right click to uh, set a destination point and it will automatically choose the path to, to go to, the, to this point. So I can click around and it will uh, do the draw the path for me. Uh, the buttons I'm using here are the um, are linked to the team. So this is the undo button. So anytime uh, in my plan I can undo what I just did, I can redo, etc. I can stop the plan where it is or just clear it all. Um, all right. And what you you can notice when I move a unit around is that the the timeline here at the bottom of the screen is actually updating and moving. Uh, it means that every time I make something, I make an action, which is a move right now, it will actually move the in time because it takes time to, to move from this point to this one. And I can, I can also use the timeline to see where my unit will be at certain time, at a given time. I can, a bit like in Gladiabots, I have these playback buttons, so I can use the play button, pause, slow motion, fast forward, go back, and etc. So that's how you will move your units. And next is the, the control of the time, which is super, super important for the, for the game. So you have the timeline, as you can see here. You have the, the buttons, but you also have the the path, the path can be used also to move in time. So if I want to move in time at this moment where my unit will be at this place, I just click on the waypoint and it will automatically move the timeline to when the unit will be at this place. So as you can see, as I move along the path, the timeline is, is moving. And this will be really useful to synchronize your unit movements. So let's reset everything and let's say that I want to uh, enter this room uh, with both my unit at the same time. So I, I'll use, I'll start by this one. I'm at the, um, the beginning of the, the mission. Let's drag this guy here and let's drag this guy here. This is not a good way to do it. Bec why? Because I first moved my unit. I was there in time and then I moved the other one. So the right way to do it is actually to uh, so move my first unit and go back in time or click on the path where I want my second unit to, to move. So let's say I want to start a bit later with a bit of delay be, be, um, after my first unit. So I move on the path like here and then only I move my unit. Okay, it's, uh, so, so that's how you, you synchronize your, your move. I will use this technique uh, a lot in the game, so uh, that's something you, will, you, you really want to, to understand pretty soon. Um, let me know in the chat if that's clear enough or if that's a bit obscure for you. Savat asks me, will we see the enemy during that phase or only when it's committed? You, you won't be able to see the enemies by default in the planning phase, but once the campaign system will be in place, um, you will have um, intermission perks that will be uh, usable. If you, if you succeed in one mission, you will have a set of perks you can choose from, which will be stuff like uh, refill your ammo, um, heal uh, uh, um, an injured unit, but also maybe scan the next map and have uh, an approximative view of the enemy positions. Maybe not all the enemy, maybe just some of them. 
Um, and depending on the success you will have, you may unlock new perks, more advanced perks that will give you more precision on the on the position. So, but for now in the alpha you, you can't uh, see any of the enemies. So you have to to uh, try to anticipate the different uh, spawn positions possible. It's always, it's annoying to always go back when switching heads. Yeah, that's something I'm still tweaking in terms of uh, controls. At first I had the the, um, the behavior that you, when you switch to another unit, it will move you in time where um, when <laughs> this unit was at this place. But it was really annoying to it, it was much more annoying to use than the current uh, version. But that's something I'm, I'm still uh, thinking about and still tweaking. Yeah, yeah, like Les uh, Lekazad said, uh, we could also use um, shortcuts like control alt keys to uh, to have different behavior when you select uni your units but you will see as as we go that the the current system is not not so bad actually so let's continue my my plan here i will do something very rough so we may not win this mission but just to show you uh, how the the mechanics works so um, for instance if i have uh, this unit on the left scanning the the room like this like with a big arc like this uh, it will obviously be in place of um, be in front of the next door way later than the first one so once again that's something you can use to to synchronize your next room in next room entry so, for instance, if I select this unit and move right away, it will move um, all by itself and not wait for the for the other one. So, instead, I can click on the position of the next unit, and then only move when this guy hits the hits the position. Also, I just use it used it. Uh, you can double click on a unit position on a unit sorry to to move to the time where the when the units reach the current position it's a bit like clicking on the waypoint actually so if i play this this face so there enter the the room at the same time which is cool let's maybe do something a bit more advanced so as you can see when when i'm over the the doors i have a few icons showing up uh, the first one is opening the door, so I can decide to just open the door and not move, move through it. It can be useful if uh, maybe I post this unit at this place. And then use it to give him a bit of angle on the next room. And what I can also do is uh, using a flash grenade. Uh, by default the grenades are the flash grenades, but there's also f a frag grenade and uh, a bit more advanced tools that will come uh, later, like scanning grenades that can give you a, a preview of the of the next room, like uh, the scan I was talking about between the missions, and it will uh, allow the AI of your characters to pre-aim the position of the the known position of the enemies. So let's use a grenade in this in this room. So as you can see there's a there's a field of view I can use to throw my grenade at. There's a range of uh, impact for the grenade and so maybe I want to throw it like this to cover the the this part of the room and this other room at the same time which would not be uh, such a bad idea I think. And let's see what it does. Okay. And so, um, as for the the, the waypoints on the map, you can 
click on the grenade icon, icon to move in time to exactly the moment where the, the, the grenade will detonate. Uh, because if I move right after uh, throwing my grenade, you will see that my unit will be stunned by its own grenade. So that's not something I want to do. Instead I want to wait for it to explode and then move in the in the room and scan the the other uh, spaces and I'll do the same for for this unit here so I select the unit and click on the grenade and then move move around uh, something super important I didn't show you yet what is the um, the aiming system so uh, it's a bit different than in other uh, tactical games in games like door kickers you usually define a direction um, that will be used for the, the, the unit to, to aim so basically on, on its left, on its right, etc. Um, for this game I decided to instead use a, a, a point, a, a, um, a looking target and why is that? It's because most of the time you will use it to scan a, an open door so here if I uh, change my view you can see that those doors are uh, open so uh, enemies in this room can see me through it so what I want to do with this unit for instance is to aim at this door and maybe move around it to scan the angle so you can see the field of view uh, of my unit maybe at this point I want to change my looking target to this other room this other door sorry and move around a bit like this so I'm sure that I've scanned pretty much everything of the of the next room. Um, checking the chat. So uh, Lekazad asks don't units fire automatically when they see enemies yes they do but um, they do only if they see the enemy or if the enemy is shooting them uh, which is uh, very is essential in the way you will design your plan because you want to set the looking position to prioritize the, the, the different areas of the rooms a bit like in SWAT teams uh, where uh, when you have uh, two or three guys entering a room you you want every one of your member to know where it should look like uh, look at at first so the first one will scan the left area the second one in front and the third one in the, on the right for instance and that's exactly what you will be able to do in this uh, in this game um, like at the beginning here I just moved my unit around and they will simply look uh, in, in front of them in terms of the, of the path of the movement but maybe uh, maybe this guy here <coughs> that goes on the right will not look uh, soon enough to, to the right so maybe I want I want him to to have a, a predefined uh, aiming position maybe here I want him to force him to look at the corner uh, for the other one I want him to look here and maybe I will have a better coverage of the of the room but as you can see it takes them a bit of time to orient themselves so maybe that's something I want to do a bit earlier like at the very beginning of their plan so that they already have the, the, the good the good aiming position and then on the way maybe I don't want him to stay focused on the corner but either switch corners or maybe at some point just tell him to to look freely uh, in front of him so I just have to remove the aiming position and same for for him here if I manage to do it yeah Ok, 
okay planning phase is only 2d no it's it's, uh, it's up to you actually to use the top-down view like this or to move the camera around um, I decided to to give the freedom of, uh, of view to the player so as I said before that he can have a better understanding of where the furniture will be uh, how he will be able to use covers uh, maybe have a better understanding also of the viewing angles uh, of the doors, etc. But um, myself, I'm using the top-down view a, a lot for the planning phase because it's, uh, I think it's easier to navigate than in 3D because sometimes when you drag your, uh, your path, you have a um, uh, pretty chaotic behavior if you are in a certain angle and you didn't see that behind the wall there was some obstacle or stuff like that. Whoops. Okay, um, you forgot to explain the M thing. So I, <laughs> I did just after that. I think, no, I did not actually. Yeah, I did, yeah. Using the, the right click, you can, you, you can set the aiming uh, position of your units. How about the option to have both direct direction and target? Yeah, maybe using uh, different um, hotkeys, you, you could maybe use the, the di direction or position option. But for now, I think the I, I want to focus on the on the main option, which is the aiming position. I wanted to to see if that was something. As at least as useful as what you, you can see in other games like Door Kickers, and I think it's a it's a rather good solution actually. Um, all right. Do you think so, <laughs> Zilberek? I think it's Kilberek. Do you think you could put icons on the path uh, so we can see when they change view target? It's not entirely clear now when characters will change viewpoint. That's true. That's something I did um, in the very first version, but it was a bit um, too much information actually uh, on the path. Maybe that's that could be an option. Uh, right now there's only two uh, markers on the path there is this kind of marker here the blue one and the red one the blue one indicates uh, a waiting a waiting time it means that the unit will not will stop at this position actually for a few time for a few seconds before uh, before moving as you can see it waits for the grenade to explode and then moves the red one is obviously the grenade throwing uh, action and later there will be more actions possible so I want to to keep the path as clear as possible and only highlight the very uh, very um, important stuff but yeah you could definitely have some markers that will uh, tell you that at this position it will switch aiming target or maybe just stop looking at the target that's something yeah that can be uh, that can be done but um, yeah I thought it was a bit too um, too uh, confusing to have all this information on the on the path but maybe maybe I can restore it Do we get an extra 360 turn action? 360 no scope. Oh, look around. Um, maybe it, it could be an action, but I I was more thinking about having a, another mode, which will be. Um, I don't know. I, I'm not sure about the, uh, the 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 name, but it will be an awareness mode where the the unit will move super slowly or uh, just stay still, 
and yeah, have a very, very wide uh, field of view. Maybe not 360, but um, it will be able to 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 scan the the the, the, the wall room around it. But it will it it has to be uh, it has to to be a counterpart to the, the the power of this of this mode. So maybe something very slow or. Yeah, not sure about it yet, but yeah, that's an interesting idea. Can enemies move or patrol or are they static? For now they are static, um, but uh, pretty soon hopefully they will be able to move. Uh, to move around to um, maybe... If you, you didn't check this room for instance, and you go right to the, the, the one at the bottom here, Maybe if the guy hears you, he, he could cross the door and uh, try to shoot you uh, from behind. So um, this will have more difficulty, but also uh, very interesting challenges like covering every angle of the of the room. Because right now you just have basically to to check the the current room. You don't have much risk that someone will go behind or something like that but that's something i i really want to 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 include in the game uh, but they i'm not sure they will be able to open doors for instance because it would it would be it would add the possibility to completely screw your your plan because if you were, you were counting on, on having this door closed when you, you when you come by and the door is not closed anymore because an NPC uh, opened it. It will completely, um, uh, yeah, make your your plan invalid. Okay, maybe let's uh, continue a bit uh, this plan and see how it goes. So I'm checking the right, the the bottom room. Maybe this guy should have a better aiming setup. Okay, check this one, then he goes back to help his colleague and then maybe at this time we can both enter. Mm, and checking this area for him and this area for Let's try that. Okay. So let's see how it goes. All right. We are not checking the the left the left uh, part of the building. Maybe that's not a good idea. So maybe this guy should aim like this. The middle should be covered before, like when they are scanning the different rooms. And maybe, yeah, let's try this. And once we are done, we will continue and go for the last, the last room. And maybe I'm, I will be using the door opening action. So let's place this guy here. This guy will open the door. Oh, it's not working. Oh, looks like a bug. Yeah, the door cannot be open. That's weird. Maybe I can just um, move this guy. Let's try this. Anyway, that's just uh, just a quick demo to to show you how the game is played. So we have a plan. We can review it before we commit. So we cover pretty much every angle of this do of this uh, room. Then we post ourselves to the next one. Grenade. The gr the guy that is throwing the grenade is a bit exposed, but. 
I'll show you later how to, to avoid it. So I'm scanning the two doors, entering, alright, scanning the corners, and checking the final room. Okay. So now I will uh, pause the planning phase and go to the execution phase. Let me just check the chat if you have some questions before that. Can weapons go through walls, doors, and enemies shoot through doors if they hear you? Mm, not yet. I'm not sure that's something... Shooting through doors could be uh, an interesting element for advanced missions. Like you would have to, to monitor the doors even if they are closed. It's not a bad idea. Yeah, it could be it could be used, but so for now, no, it's not in the in the design yet. Or oh, windows, windows. There are s a few windows in the level design right now, but I'm not really uh, using them as windows. Uh, it means that um, units cannot see through the windows. Really, they are just part of the of the background, but uh, they they are not really used as windows. Um, I'm not sure yet if they will be part of the of the final game because it will become a really tricky to to compose with both the, the doors and the windows. It will mean you will have to crouch at certain certain points uh, in the in the map to to avoid avoid being seen through the windows. And it makes um, it makes the, the um, execution phase a bit unpredictable by using this because it, it leaves way too much uh, opening uh, angles. Shooting enemies will delay your car, character, or taking shots, how will it affect the timeline if one is delayed? Now the, 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 the goal is really to, to preserve the, the, the plan as much as possible. So I thought about slowing down the, um, the units, but it will completely screw up the, the, the plan. So it will just impact the, the health and the, and the armor of the, of the units, but it won't change the, the, the speed at which they are uh, moving because it will desync everything you, you've set up before. So um, yeah, no, that, that's something I don't want to, 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 to change right now. Okay, so let's commit our plan and see how it goes. Let's maybe move the camera like this. We've got much more uh, entertaining angle. Okay, let's go. One unit and <laughs> first unit is down. Um, why is that? Because this guy didn't even look at the center of the room as I've set their uh, aiming position. So he's not he's not at all uh, trying to shoot at the guy. Once this guy will be down, he, the NPC will shoot at my other unit and then it will notice the, the enemy. Let's see. Okay, I lose. Let's try again. Every time I try a new um, a new session, the the layout stays the same, so I can reuse my plan. Uh, but um, the enemies will spawn at different places, will have different weapons, different setup, and also uh, have uh, the map will have a different count of enemies. So. Uh, you will have replayability and your plan will have to, to, to uh, try to anticipate every possible combination. So let's try again, but this time uh, maybe I'll try to have a better covering of the center of the room. Yeah, because you see the NPC should, I think it was right at uh, at this, this place where I didn't check the of the room so maybe let's move a bit this angle and this guy like this so yeah I should cover pretty much every angle except this small corner here but 
but let's let's take the risk. Okay, let's try like this. First to kneel down. My guy took a bit of damages, but that should be okay. This is not good. Okay. Second NPC down. Doesn't seem to be anyone in this room. Maybe in the last one. Yeah. And my unit is down. And uh, I didn't show you before, but as you can see, the game is pausing as soon as one of your unit is uh, is downed. And now the this button appeared here that allows me to change my plan. So I can go back in the planning phase. Obviously, I, I cannot change what has already been done, but I can maybe uh, uh, focus the, the, posi the aiming position of my guy here, or maybe advance more closely to the enemy position. And when I uh, resume the execution phase, it will start again at the at the time my unit was uh, was killed. And okay, I won because I my my shot just after my first unit was down finished uh, the the last enemy. Let's replay it. So it's not very clear right now, there's no real feedback about it, but there's a cover system and I think that this enemy benefited from, from it because it's behind uh, an obstacle and uh, the precision computation depends on if there is, there is some obstacle between the, the target and the, and the shooter. And my unit doesn't benefit from it because the the colliders here have, are very very low and also my unit is moving which means that his precision is is lowered so that's why he has taken so so much damages before hitting the the npc and here we've seen that the guy that was throwing the grenades took some damages when opening the door because this, this guy here uh, managed to, to see him and aim at him. And during the uh, grenade, grenade uh, throwing animation and door opening animation, my guy cannot shoot. So it, it will have to wait for the grenade to be tossed to start shooting at the guy. Here there's not not so much enemies. The scanning here is pretty effective. And for the last one. As you can see the when the when the first guy entered the room it saw the enemy right away, so if I click on him, I can see the, the green uh, field of view. So the guy is, is seen by uh, the enemy is seen by my unit, but this this guy here is not seeing it very clearly. That's why he, he doesn't engage it right away. It's only when the the first unit is uh, shifting on the left that my second unit is uh, is shooting at it. And that's pretty, also pretty important. I wanted to each and each unit to to um, um, block the vision of the others, so that you can't use some tricks like uh, having a, a bulk of all your units together and have the the advantage of everyone shooting at at one guy from a very very close position. I want in corridors, for instance, in very tight corridors, I want the, the first unit to be the only one to, to, to be able to see the enemy and shoot at the enemy. So it makes it very tricky to, to organize your, your, your plan. 
Okay, um, I'm checking the chat for questions. Timeline is more important. Yeah, it's more important than slowing down the, the enemies. Yeah. Okay. Did you make some balance change? The NPC seems much more powerful than in the first stream. Uh, actually, what I changed is the their uh, reaction time. They are they are reacting very very early now. Like in uh, um, t t 100 or 200 milliseconds um, at the vision of the of the um, the units of your team, and before it was like half a second, so uh, they were pretty much too easy to to to, to kill. And I've I've done a very very rough plan here, so that's why I'm not very performant. I could redo redo it to uh, to have better um, aiming targets, to have better uh, timing at uh, scanning the rooms and throwing the grenades. Um, but that's something you will learn as as you play. Actually, to to be careful about the different corners, to cover every part of the room. Um, stuff like that yeah but I'm still balancing f uh, obviously the the um, the health and the armor of the characters and the NPCs and also the reaction times also the weapons because they, they have different weapons uh, your team is only using uh, assault rifles but the enemies are using uh, this one is using Assault rifle. This one was using assault rifle too, and this guy was using uh, an SMG. If I'm not mistaken, yeah, it was an SMG. And they can also have um, shotguns, so they have different properties in terms of range. A shotgun will be very powerful at short range. Uh, SMG more like middle range, and assault rifle is more for uh, as, uh, for uh, long range. And when you will have the deploy phase, deployment phase, uh, you will be able to 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 change weapons of your units. So depending on the on the size of the building, the size of the rooms, you will be able to accommodate uh, with it. Could you make your both units stop and have a look at the entire first room before moving forward? Yeah. I could definitely change my plan. So for now, there's no way to um, to add a waiting time without redoing all the all the remaining plans. So what I could do is uh, is, for instance, in the first room, uh, maybe stop my unit here and have him scan this angle. This one stops here and scan this part, um, and then either I move the timeline and move again, so they will wait for a few seconds, like this, or I can um, I can use the the playback buttons here, but later I'm. Uh, planning to add a new new um, UI to allow you to uh, insert some waiting time in your um, unit plan or for the whole team, so that indeed you can uh, wait for a few time to to scan the the room and maybe finish the enemy you you have in uh, in the room. Um, and that's also part of why I want to introduce new uh, engage engagement modes, new uh, move modes, like you would be, you would have a s small, um, sorry, slower modes where you would have much more time to scan the room and also scan the doors for instance because uh, let's say this guy here uh, want to have a very cautious check of the door I want him to be here for a few times, then move a bit like this, wait a bit, then move a 
bit like this. Wait a bit, etc. Et That's what we call uh, slicing the pie in the tactical uh, language. And for now, you can do it manually, like like I did just there. So you check, you move, check, move, check, move, etc. But it's a bit um, um, too much work for the for the player to do. So I will add new modes to that will allow you to to scan more much more slowly the this kind of situation. Are levels procedurally generated or handcrafted? I saw a GIF you posted online some time ago about map generation. So this one was generated. Um, in the this version of the game I have three handcrafted maps. These ones. And as expected, <laughs> there's a uh, there's bug when I changed the... Uh, when I changed the map for static map, so I'm just starting the game again. So you have this one. Let's move this around. You have this one, which is rather small and pretty simple to, to approach. So it's typically the kind of mission you will do at the, the beginning of the, of the campaign, of the game. You have this one, which is a bit trickier. Not so big, but you have a strange angle here you have to, to cover. You also have different uh, entry points and uh, a bigger team. So you can decide to use your uh, team members at different entry points and maybe synchronize your entries or uh, decide to put everyone at the same place. So it gives you more choices, more strategi strategical uh, choices. Um, and you have the third one, which is way bigger uh, and way tougher to, to approach but still doable for, for, for any player. You also have a four members team, three entry points. And yeah, so that's a very interesting map be because you, you have this, this corner here, which is very tricky to handle. You have this small room here that is uh, uh, pretty dangerous. And you have a limited amount of uh, flash grenades, so you, you cannot just simply throw grenades at everywhere and uh, wait for it to, to explode to, to enter the room. You really have to choose wisely where you want to invest your, your equipment in. And also you have a, a bit of cover here with the desks, this one. And and this room is also a bit tricky to approach because you you, you can enter that by this entry point here. But you have a large, very large space to, to, to cover. And enemies can be in very tricky positions. I designed it this way. Um, yeah. And so you have those three maps that are uh, manually um, crafted and I added some new map generated maps here so this one uh, will be different at, this, at every time these these ones and I try to match the size of the first one so this will be a small generated uh, building this will be a medium and large buildings so let's try this you can see different small buildings with different layouts, different shapes. Uh, this is the medium one. And you will start to see maybe in the next generation some uh, tight corridors. No, not this one, maybe in the big one. Yeah, you will have much tighter corridors like this one where you can basically have uh, one unit uh, in front and maybe one, another one at the side, but it's very tricky, it becomes very tricky to, to aim for both of them. It's still, I'm still tweaking the, the size, but uh, you can go, yeah, with this corridor you can go with two units side by side, 
but the other part of the team will have to either take a different path or t or cover their uh, their six like this for instance uh, to to cover the different rooms and uh, different situations so yeah you already have a lot of variety in terms of layout and difficulty in the game so depending if you are just starting or uh, becoming an expert you can uh, really uh, find some some fun in in different situations this one is very tricky and the more actually the more you have uh, the more open doors you have the trickier it gets because once you enter the room you have to cover the the open doors and the different corners of the room uh, so yeah let's maybe try uh, another small map Can you rename the game to be tactical? <laughs> There's already a tactical channel in the Discord server. You can uh, you can check it if check it if you want. I'm trying to uh, list uh, cool videos and cool gifs or references for the game, um, especially to to have uh, better uh, viewing angles. Because right now you have to manually set the angle of the camera, but maybe. Later, there will be a tool to automatically set the camera to a, a cool position, like on the shoulder of your of your characters or on the gun of your characters, like a GoPro camera, um, or maybe uh, a specific place in the room where your uh, grenade entry would be uh, cool to to look at. Um, so yeah, that's why I'm trying to think about how to present the execution phase. Multi-floor maps, I, I, re I would really like to, to, to make them, but technically it's uh, very tricky to, to, present, to present it, because depending on where your units will be, you may want to hide certain floors and show other ones. Not sure yet. The, the the stairs also is a bit tricky in terms of uh, of path to to implement. But maybe maybe later. Yeah. What would be interesting is to what I if I if I go with uh, different floors, I would really like to make the stair um, the stair uh, moving in stairs very critical because in real life that's a very very uh, hard problem to approach to to have someone covering different depending on the the size and the shape of the stairs also uh, so one guy covering the front another one covering uh, above above the guys another one covering the the lower ground so yeah it's it's very interesting problem to to tackle with but it's also very challenging in terms of um, technical aspect of uh, of the implementation. Mm, also regarding the last room, could we could the waiting unit take a knee and ADS so he fires quickly when his body opens the door? Uh, crouching is one of the features I want to to implement to be able to have two units aligned and uh, and uh, both sh shooting and seeing the enemy. Uh, I'm not sure what you mean by ADS, um, Brittany. Um, maybe you can explain it in the in the chat. Can you enter fire grenade through windows or only doors? It's just doors for now. And as I said before, uh, the, the windows are also pretty tricky to approach in terms of level design because it makes the, the, the maps really hard to, to handle for the player. So I'm not sure I will keep the, the windows in the game. Add equals aim down the sights. Yeah, you mean uh, 
pre pre aiming pre aiming at uh, the door yeah yeah definitely that's uh, yeah that's one I want to to add as a um, the crouch mode so what time is it it's three three and a half um, let me just make a quick a quick pause like a few minutes and then after that I would like to try something with you guys we uh, we have more than 10 viewers so it should be interesting I would like to test something with you so uh, uh, kind of a poll system where I will ask you what you want to do uh, with the current mission. Do you want to uh, place the units at certain positions? Do you want to enter this or this room? Do you want to flash it or not? Mm -hmm. I'll use a, a poll system. That's the first time I'm using it, so let's hope it will work. Um, so we can all play together and you will be actually the ones deciding uh, what will be the next uh, action in the plan. So let me just set it up, um, take a quick break and I'll be back in, uh, in a few minutes. I'm leaving you with the uh, wishlist animation in the meantime.
Okay, I'm back. Thanks for waiting. So, let me see if the poll system is working. Let's try that. Can you see the... Can you see the poll? Yeah, I think you see it. So, for the first room, we don't have... Uh, we only have one entry point, so we won't have the choice to... Uh, to, to, to have another one, but... Um, tell me if you want to either just enter the room, flash the room, or just open the door and aim at it. Yeah, there's no there's no breaching charges uh, for now in the game, but it will certainly come uh, later. Okay, so flashing the room seems to be the dominant option here. Oh no, maybe just opening the door. I'll leave you guys a few seconds more. You can see the, the poll system, right? You can see the results. It's too... Yeah, okay. Seems alright. No, there's no... There's no alert or alarm system uh, from shooting or flashing a, a room. So you want to open a door, so I guess you want also to have uh, one guy aiming at the door. So let's maybe use, uh, no, use this one and move it here and look at the door. And once he's ready, we can open this, this door. Okay. Is that what you guys had in mind? Okay, so um, let me set up the next the next question. So I hide this. Mm, so now what we can do? We can enter the room. We can still flash the room, but I'm not sure it will be a very useful option. And uh, opening door is not really an option either. So do we want to have... Uh, we should name the units. So the, the top one will be one will be A and the bottom one will be B. So do we want to have A enters the room, B enters the room, or both enter the room. Um, what could we have? Uh, okay, let's let's go with this. Okay, it's midnight here. Oh, you are in Australia. Okay, so bedtime. Working tomorrow. Thanks for the stream. No problem. Thank you for passing by. I'll, I'll post the <coughs> the replay later, so you can watch the the end of the stream. And see you. A is the one aiming. Yeah, yeah, that's it. A 
is top and B is bottom. So you seem to want both of them to enter the room. I think the choice is pretty clear, so let's go with it. Uh, maybe this guy will enter first. So we just uh, open the door. Maybe wait a few seconds. And then enter. Hmm, maybe waiting. Waiting could be a, a good option. But anyway. Uh, so this guy enters. I'll make him stick to the corner so he won't miss anyone and maybe aim for the, the the end of the room and this guy will move at the same time and will focus on the same position so let's try it entering and yeah they are covering pretty much everything in the room all right. Is that what you expected, guys? B should enter alter first. You usually send in the first guy. Okay, let's try. Let's try what uh, God, God Felix says. So let's undo this part. All right. So we we open the door. Then B enters. And then A will enter. Is that what you had in mind? no problem so this guy will uh, uh, will uh, check the this corner first then this one then focus on the on the end of the of the room let's try it like this Yeah, the swat on the back. Oh, by the way, I'm not uh, the one who, who did uh, the modeling of the characters and the uh, and the map. That's I'm actually using uh, assets from the asset store of Unity. Uh, I'm not that good at 3D modeling, and there's a lot of work al already done. And I pretty I like pretty much the what the job they have done. So I'm using their assets. At first it was just for prototyping, but I think I w I'll stick to it because it will offer later a lot of possibilities to, to have different uh, uh, skins of, uh, of your units and also of the maps. So you would have different uh, atmospheres and it will minimize the work for me about modeling because uh, I won't have the time to, to do everything myself. Tell me what you guys think, by the way, about the graphics. Okay, so <coughs> let's go back to the plan. So we are posted like this. We are behind cover. Uh, so we have two doors now. We have this one which is open and this one which is closed. I think we can consider this one as a wall or maybe you want to use it um, let me know so I'll make a new poll so do you want to uh, approach uh, the left door 
doors actually uh, scan the right door so the right one is this one scan the right door or uh, maybe do both maybe you have one guy checking the, the doors the closed doors and one guy scanning the, the other one let's start the poll they are very good the graphics cool So you are going for either scanning the right door or doing both. I like the art style, it's simple and lets you focus on the plan. Now to not too many disturbing details, simple and clean. Yeah, that's precisely why I wanted to have uh, low poly graphics like this um, and also I didn't uh, sp talk about it yet but um, I'd like to to give a lot of options for the players to design their missions and campaigns and also the story th the stories that's that uh, goes with it so I'd like you to be able to play the good guys or the bad guys like you could have a mission where you are uh, robbing a bank and you, your mission is to is extract from the bank without being killed or without triggering an alarm or something like that and you you could also tell a story um, with the mission and the fact that you you have low poly graphics low poly characters with not really a specific face not really a specific uh, um, look we will allow the narrator to to have more freedom about what they are they are willing to to to, to, to tell what what kind of story they want to tell <laughs> it has <laughs> chess squares so I, I have to look the, like the graphics yeah the, uh, it will not be the only the only ground uh, texture you, we, I will use but yeah right now that's one of the only one I have so you, you will see it a lot so oh we are 50 50 for scanning the right door or approaching the left one and scanning the right door maybe one more vote Yeah, community made maps um, should bring a lot of content. And we already have the mission generator, which is gives pretty much infinite replay value. But I I would like to to give the possibility to the community to to focus on what they are liking the most. Okay, we are still 50-50, so maybe I will I will take the, the both option because at least it covers the scanning the right door. Uh, so maybe this guy will be the one in charge of approaching the doors. Like this, and this guy will scan the open one I think like this it's okay okay so next next um, do we enter uh, enter the left door enter the the open door uh, both and do we flash 
Hmm. Maybe I should do two poles. One for... Yeah, for the... which one we want to enter and... Once we have chosen the, the door, all the doors, I uh, will make a new poll to know if you want to flash or not. <laughs> Enter the left door, okay. Just post a quick update on Twitter to to have more people joining. Okay, so we enter both both doors, all right. Oh, one more vote, maybe. I'm waiting for the three minutes mark. <laughs> Come on, guys. 50-50 once again. I'll take the decision if you have 50-50. Few seconds left. Come on. Okay, 50-50. Then I'll choose the mm, entering both both of them. Uh, and a quick poll to say do we want to flash it or not? Flash or no flash? This one will be quick. Please, no 50-50. Flash, okay. <laughs> let's make, uh, let's, yeah. Let's make a rule. If this, if it's 50-50, the, f the, the, the top option will be chosen. first one it is so we flash and we flash and I think this guy is the best place to flash because he, he won't be m he's already exposed to this area and if this one flashes the room he has to open the door flash and go back so it will be simpler to use this one let's see if we can find a spot that will cover most of the room so if I go out of the yellow area, you can see that it will uh, uh, stick to the wall. Actually, I can change I can change the the angle of uh, of the throwing, but it won't affect the the, the range. So maybe like this. 
the accent is cool and I have to step aside to be yeah to avoid being flashed myself and once the grenade explodes uh, I'll enter this one like this he will cover this side of the room and this guy will cover this side like this and maybe they can move hmm. this central area is not covered yet maybe he can start by looking at the middle of the room and then switch to the right side and this guy what is he doing this guy can start by checking the corner and then um, checking the, the center of the room let's replay it Are you guys okay with uh, this solution? Yeah, looks good. Nice. So I guess next step will be to check this door. So I can already uh, place my uh, my members, team members here this guy here sorry and this guy uh, this guy over there let's cancel this so they will move like this then center to the to the door maybe this guy should not be so close maybe he should wait here okay so next step is um, do we just enter the room flash the room or open the door I just have a small drink Sorry, <laughs> I muted it just for the drink. 
sorry so what I was saying is um, uh, let's say you're bad at making the guys look at places do they automatically look uh, at stuff throwing at them yeah so basically the answer was yes they uh, they uh, if they are shot at, shot at even if they are not hit they would look at the <coughs> look at the attacker I still don't like how one unit just passes the open door without looking at it in the first room. In the first room. Not sure if you want, if you mean this one. Passes the door without looking at it. We've changed it earlier. I don't know if you if you mean this. I'll continue watching. Oh you mean the this one? Hmm. Indeed we could have the guy looking at the door while it passes by. It's getting overridden. Like this, it's better. Okay, cool. Thanks for mentioning it. Uh, so the poll says enter the room. So let's move here. And we enter the room. So this guy will enter like this. And this guy will enter like this. Uh, maybe not too close to the door. Like this, it should be alright. Wow. I failed at syncing my movements. Right. like this okay is that okay for you and I guess the next one will be pretty much the same question enter flash or open the door Flash the room. I have to uh, to be careful about who's flashing now because there's only one flash grenade per character, and the game doesn't check uh, the remaining grenade yet. So it won't be this one because he already used the grenade. So it will be this guy. Let's see. Yeah, a flash grenade. Yeah. <laughs> you see a distinct lack of flash of uh, frag grenade. Yeah, they are implemented in the game, but uh, there's not uh, the the selection process is not there yet. So I decided to go by default with the flash grenade. But once the deployment phase will be implemented, you will be able to change to choose uh, which grenade you want to to take with you. By the way, you could have a mix of uh, flash and frag grenades or scan grenades. That's uh, just up to you. You will be, you have a, a limited amount of grenades you can take with you, obviously. But you can choose to have one guy specialized in uh, in this kind of stuff and uh, and have a mix of different options for your mission. RPGs. I'm not sure RPGs are going to be 
in the game. Confetti grenades. Yeah, why not? <laughs> it will it would force the the enemies to dance. I, it's in Fortnite, I think. There's a grenade that forces you to dance. Could be something like that. Okay, so we are going to flash, flash the room. So using uh, this guy. So uh, this guy will be placed uh, maybe here, like this. And this guy will flash the room. So. Oh, I still have the, the bug of the... Damn, it won't help. Because it's trickier to do it manually, but I, I can still do it, but uh, it's a bit trickier. So let's move. Uh, move back. Like this. For, oh, maybe I can use the, the other one to open the door could be smarter. Um, I'll show you the, the I'll show you both options and you, you tell me what you what you prefer. So this will flash pretty much all the room. Um, this guy I can make him stop here because will be able to cover a bit of his partner. Yeah, not really actually. <laughs> and they are getting flashed. But that's okay, I, I can just move them aside. So we have this option or the option to stop here. Sorry, stop here. I have this one uh, going this side of the door. Um, this guy like this maybe. And once this guy is ready, he opens the door, goes back. As soon as the door is open, here this guy will throw the grenade. And we will have a better angle actually. So we can throw it all the way here. And they are not impacted. So do you, do you prefer the first or the second uh, option? Let me just make a quick poll. Second one. All right. And then, uh, then the the rest is pretty obvious. So once the grenade has exploded, we scan the the room with both units, and I can just uh, remove the aiming positions. Let's replay the plan, and if you if you guys are okay with it, we'll uh, go for the execution phase. So we open the door, scan the corners, enter. We wait a bit. We take care of the first room. Okay, grenade. This should be pretty safe. 
Then we move to the next one. Small room, so not that tricky. That's great. Hmm, maybe we could change the way this guy looks after opening the door. Because if someone sees him, he may want to to be able to fire at the at the target. Okay. Uh, this is not ne needed anymore. All right. Okay. So, how do you like it? Is it okay? <laughs> or replan? <coughs> Does he hit himself with the second flash grenade? I don't think so. Let me just check. They are just no. They are not stunned. They are just at the border of the of the flash um, impact. Okay, let's go for execution. I hope you guys are ready. And let's make like this. Uh, Guys, ready? Let's go. Damn. First you need down. Did it take a lot? A lot of... Uh, yeah, because he checked the, the, the wrong corner first. Yeah, he took three hits. Right away. So we are not very lucky in terms of... Uh, uh, hitting chance. Let's continue. Uh, we have seen someone, I think. That's a shotgun, so he was not very effective at this range. No one here. He's the one throwing the grenade, so we may have a chance to, to win. Oh, but no! Oh, <laughs> so it's a bug. <laughs> it's a bug because the door was not open. Damn. And we didn't win because I think there's still someone. Yeah, there's still someone in the in the room. Damn. Let's try with another another seed. Still not very lucky. We've lost one unit. Um, and the guy remaining should be able to complete the stage. Yeah, maybe we should have uh, waited a bit when entering the, the first room to have more time to settle and have a better precision <sighs> opening the door <sighs> damn <laughs> okay we lose definitely um what do you think we could change to to have a better chance? <laughs> Pray to RNG, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's hard to add some waiting time, but we can we can try. We can try to redo pretty much the the plan we had. Uh, maybe just tweaking a bit the aiming targets 
should suffice. Maybe having the angle like like this, and then then like this should be enough. Maybe and actually this guy blocking the vision of the other one that's that's part of why we we are losing some uh, fire firing time yeah I still have some balancing to do about the the weapons because because the the, the NPC shouldn't have uh, hit three times in a row our uh, member. Now we know something then. You're gonna plan for everyone dying, so you gonna make the movements and cornering without them. Yeah, but you, you can... Uh, let me show you. You can actually replan once one of your units is, is down. Let's try it. again he's using an assault rifle so he's pretty good at precision and yeah he hits every time and our unit is moving so it's not so precise uh, yeah what I wanted to show you is it's too late because I, I moved uh, the timeline let me show you after that We've seen someone. Come on. <laughs> and the bug grenade will still will still work. And here's the, the problem is that we only check this corner, this side of the room, and I think there's one guy here. And so we finish our plan without shooting at the guy. Um, so what did I want? Yeah, I wanted to show you what happens when one of your guy dies. If it happens again. We are more lucky this time. We have one guy here. Nice. I think we win. Yeah, <laughs> finally. <laughs> nice. Uh, let's try once again. <coughs> and then we'll move on to another uh, another mission. Excuse me guys for one second. Sorry guys. So we win once again. And I couldn't show you what I wanted to show you. Let's move fast forward. Still win. I didn't change much. Okay. 
that's what I wanted to show you. Oh, we have three guys in the first room. So as soon as one of your unit is down, like this one, the game will pause and show you this button which allows you to go back in the planning phase. And now you can change the, the way you design your plan because maybe this time you have this uh, <laughs> grenade that shouldn't work uh, that is still here. So maybe you want to change the plan and say I just want to enter the room or maybe uh, oh this time the, the icon is working. Maybe flash, flash like this and once the grenade explodes go like this. And then you can restart, not restart, but continue the execution phase. And it will resume at the time the, the first unit died. And I died right away. Not very lucky on the, on the first room. Yeah, three guys shooting at us. Not very lucky. That's still also something I, I have to, to tweak in terms of difficulty. I want to... I have to change the, the, the maximum number of uh, NPCs you can have in a single room like this so that you can hardly have this kind of situation. How did the flash without opening the door? That's a, that's a bug, sorry. <laughs> I have to fix it. Uh, that moment when you don't die when you want to die <laughs> and die when you don't want to, exactly. That's precisely what happens. Um, it's three versus one in the first room, yeah. Well, SWAT teams can find themselves. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's, that's true, yeah. Maybe I should have um, more more uh, units in the, in the first uh, levels so you can cope with this kind of situation. Okay, let's try. Uh, let's try another map. Do you want uh, a small map, a medium map, or a large map? And while you you make the the choices, I. Uh, I'm going to check my daughter. She wanted me to do something. Uh, let me just uh, cut this and this. Okay, I'm back. So you want uh, a small map, all right. Oh, small and more interesting in terms of uh, entry points. So we have three entry points. Uh, let's call it the uh, top, left, uh, right and bottom. So. First, let's choose uh, if we want uh, the whole team to be on the same same entry point, or you want uh, them to be split. When can we play this? Um, actually, I'm organizing playtest uh, sessions um, uh, through the Discord server. So if you want to apply for a playtest uh, session, you can do it at this address.
so you can join here on the discord of the, of the game and there's a playtest uh, channel you can join it and uh, wait for me to to put the next uh, session schedule and you can uh, you will be able to apply and uh, and try the game there's been already two sessions so far it went pretty pretty well so I'm I'm looking forward to, to the next one. So split, all right. Um, which one? Uh, which one do you? Which entry points do you want to use? So uh, do I enter the combinations? Uh, yeah, let's say left plus right, left plus button and right plus button so when you want to change your entry points you just have to select your unit and click on one of the spawning position like this like that so this way it, it gives you completely different uh, ways to to approach each map okay so left plus bottom let's say like this all right so you want to keep the the big do the big uh, room for for the final uh, final part of the of the of the plan, that's okay. Um, okay, so left plus bottom, and uh, next, do you want to? Um, uh, we we are we are going to. I guess we are going to enter both of them at the same time. Oh, not the same time, okay, so I've set up the ball, different time, all right. Okay, let's go for a different time. And <coughs> do you want left first or bottom first? Left first, okay. Okay. Um, uh, flash. Oh, no flash. Let's say um, enter or oh, flash. I'm changing the question to have a, a kind of template to reuse. So do we enter, flash, or open the door? Don't forget we have this uh, open door here. So once we enter, I was once we enter, I guess we will have to be very cautious about this part. Maybe I'll move the spawning position here, so I can check this part of the room without exposing myself too much. flash the room don't forget we have only one flash per per uh, unit i guess you will want to use the final flash here 
we could use two flashes, by the way. Okay, so you want to go with a flash. Alright, so... Let's validate the choice and... <coughs> maybe start from here. Flash. it would be smarter to use the the upper upper door to flash both of the rooms so this is solution one we just flash this room and then we enter keeping ourselves uh, safe from this uh, this corner this uh, door sorry this is the first solution, and the other solution would be to flash from here and flash both of the of the rooms. Actually, could be useful to have a, but you wanted to have a um, a non-synced uh, entry. Let me let me know if you want solution one or solution two. So 50-50. <laughs> so we said that we would go for the first solution if there's a draw. Maybe one more vote. You cannot draw with one one more vote. <laughs> you just want to troll <laughs> user. -a. That's not nice. Come on, guys. Aha! Uh -huh. So, solution two. Alright. Let me just check. Yeah, we won't be flashed ourselves. So. Uh, then I will enter like this. As we flash it, it should be pretty safe actually. So we can either check the door or go like this and remain safe from the uh, other room. Or we can sync the 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 entry from this guy and this guy over there uh, from the the grenade explosion. So let's make another poll. So the the um, different options would be uh, only enter left uh, the top room. Sorry or uh, enter both uh, after grenades, after, after the flash. Um, yeah, let's try this.
Okay. So we enter on both after the flash. Let's try that. And I guess we will uh, try to join path at the middle. So this one will check the door like the, the room like this. So we can start by checking this way, then this way, then this way. And this guy will enter when the grenade explodes. And maybe you want to check the corners. Do you want to check the corners when the, the bottom unit enters? Let me just uh, play it back. for the bottom uh, unit. <laughs> no check, all right. Remember that uh, the grenade, the flash is only covering the two third of the, of the room. It won't cover the immediate uh, threats. Threats. <coughs> Sorry. Okay, no check. No problem. So this is the, the plan so far. Okay. I guess we can stay here for a, for a bit to ensure that we kill every remaining enemy. Then we are going to post ourselves at the door and uh, what do you want to do next so do we just enter the room do we flash the room and enter or do we open the door Tell me if you want another option, by the way. <laughs> Barely plan A. <laughs> oh yeah, we could go outside. We could try that, actually. So, everyone wants to flash the room. Uh, Do you want to go outside or stay inside? Go outside being, I guess, uh, taking one of the units and moving it like uh, in one of these positions. to use the, um, the top unit or the bottom unit. Both units. Let me restart the the poll with the both options. I like this poll system, it's pretty easy to use actually. Both units. I would have thought that you would want to go outside to have a kind of double entry, but yeah, no, okay, that's up to you.
Okay. So maybe I won't move the units uh, to the door. It's not really useful. Uh, maybe wait a bit before moving out. So this unit here. No, <laughs> not going through the through the door, obviously. guy we move the other rail round okay I hope I won't misclick I can always undo the, the plan but okay so now that we are on the other side, what do you want to do? Do you want to enter, flash, open the door? Yep, <laughs> rip cross fire. Flash, alright. So which unit didn't use the flash yet? it's the bottom one this guy okay so let's flash the room yeah there's a bit of overlapping here mm, the angle is not so optimal maybe I should use the other door coming then flash whoa no flash there's too many icons of the same place it's a nah it's a bit better Is this okay for you or do you want me to find a, a better angle for the, the grenade? Seems okay. There are still some corners not covered. Let's hope there's nobody here. Okay. So he throws the grenades, the grenade, and gets hit by it, let's just move this way and keep looking at the door this guy too boom, okay okay, okay, okay and for the final move, do you want me to have um, the bottom, no, the top unit going uh, up bottom going down or do you want them to cross cross path guess we will focus on this area which is a bit more critical okay we, we will cross path so once the grenade explodes this guy moves here and 
this guy moves here. Ah uh, no, the aiming position is not good. There, he can continue the path, but this time focusing on the center. Same for him. Let me show you uh, how it will look like. So, grenade goes back, flash, enters. I like the the cross pass entry. It, it looks pretty pretty nice. Yeah, so cool. Uh, do you guys like it like that, or do we go for some replan? Tactical, yeah, <laughs> exactly. Are you guys okay with the the final uh, room entry? Maybe the top guy should look more at the bottom. Okay, like like this maybe. Is it okay this way or do you want it to be even more in the corner? Yeah, it, actually that's what I did before, that's... Yeah, you mean this area, but I... I wanted to focus on this part because it's the wider area that is not covered by the, the flash. This is th the top guy, yeah. Or maybe you want this guy? You mean the one going on top? Yeah, I see what you mean. So maybe like this too. Okay, so let's watch the plan from, uh, from the beginning. And then you will tell me if we are good to go. So execution or replan. So we flash the, the two rooms, sink entry. Then we go outside. <coughs> Okay, let's pick this up. And once everyone is there, we flash the main room, go back, cross path, check corners, check center, and move around. Maybe we want to stop, by the way, because we may not want to move all the time. Okay, so are you okay guys or do you want to replan? You guys look okay with it. Okay, then let's try it. Okay, mm. let's try this way. Or maybe like this. Yeah. Go. Ok, 
Okay. So far, so good. Let's move it around like this. And then, slow motion. Okay, grenade. We are safe. And then, one guy stand, two guys stand on the top we should be fine nice guys well done let's play it again full speed Yeah, I think it was the right choice to, to flash the, the two rooms at the beginning. I was not super confident about uh, in your choice uh, to go around, but actually it was pretty... You, you had a pretty strong position. Nice! Congratulations guys, first try. Can you can we do a level with a double flash cross pass tactical entrance next time? <laughs> yeah we could definitely. You know what? Let's uh, first let's crash the game. Then restart. Ah we we've lost the map. Uh, but we could do... You know what, Let, let's try to regenerate a new map. We could do a double cross... No, not so good on this one. Not so good... No... Mm. Not... No... No, I'm looking for a big room. Ah, this one. This one maybe. If we manage to go through this without getting killed, we could do the double grenade, double cross path tactical stuff. Um, so let me just make a quick, quick try on this one. much at the same time. Oh, this one gets flashed. So once he has thrown it, okay, and then this, this, and go, maybe more like this, and this guy This should be pretty epic. 
Let's hope the first room goes as planned. And then... Double grenade. Yeah. Is that what you wanted to see? <laughs> okay, let's try. Whoa, three guys. Three guys? <laughs> we are just okay. Alright. They didn't have cover this time. Maybe that's why. Uh, only one guy. It's a bit disappointing. Let's try a new generation. There should be one. There should be more guys here. At least two. Three. Yeah, nice. Let's see it again. Slow motion. Path, tactical, no miss, one miss, two miss, three miss. All right, it's not so bad. Yeah. Um, why are the flashes being set off so close to the, to the wall? Will you get more coverage by throwing them closer to the center? You can actually override the default position of the the grenade uh, throwing, but it will uh, get you more exposed if you if you choose a, a wider uh, angle. But that's up to you actually, you can perfectly choose to maybe this guy uh, is the one opening the door I think. Maybe this guy you want him to to be like this and once the door opens you have a much wider angle, much more possibilities to, to throw the grenade. But also, you have all these area that can shoot at you, actually, during the uh, tossing uh, animation. So it's up to you, it's, it's up to you if you want to take the risk. Maybe if you had another uh, team member, you could have someone covering you. So you could place yourself behind uh, uh, a team member or have someone behind you. That's up to you. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, yeah, some guys told me that in in reality the the, um, the um, SWAT like uh, teams don't throw grenades by exposing themselves. They just pop at the door and throw it uh, uh, with their hands. I I've seen a few videos and it's not always the case. I think they don't want to miss the shot, so. Often time they will uh, uh, want to have a clear vision of the room to know where to, to toss the grenade because you could have an obstacle right in front of the door and when tossing the grenade without looking really at the door you could have a rebound and have it uh, go back to the corridor. So and also I like the risk reward uh, aspect of the current situation. So because a flash grenade is very powerful. I want the player to take a bit of risk when uh, using it. So, uh, and as I told you, there's a few different possibilities to to cover your your guy and to to make it safer than it looks. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, it's uh, even funnier when with a more with bigger teams. 
Uh, that's why maybe we should crash the game again and restart it and maybe try a bigger map maybe not do the the same uh, polling system because it will take hours but uh, but we can try some uh, some different uh, possibilities this one is very tricky because if we enter here or here we have this very wide and this pretty wide uh, door opening stuff that will expose us to two of the biggest rooms of the of the map maybe the safest entry point is this one because we go we can go gradually from this space to this one and covering this angle and entering maybe like this I don't know what to what do you guys want to to do next do you want to play this map do you want to play another small one or do you want me to maybe go again about the different mechanics of the game let me just make a new a new poll about it I think I will stop the stream in uh, yeah in like 13 minutes 30 minutes sorry Also if you have some questions or feedback don't hesitate to to post them in the in the chat Thanks, uh, Gil, for for being around. See you. Thanks for the game looking uh, epic. Okay. Okay, see you um, um, 811M. Thanks for passing by. If you guys are leaving, maybe uh, I'll just... Uh, yeah, Uzura, see you soon. Maybe I'll stop there the, the stream for today and uh, make another one. Uh, maybe... Maybe tomorrow or in a few weeks because I'll be in vacation for the two next weeks in the meantime maybe I'll just play uh, this map real, real quick so I said that I would uh, prefer to approach the map here from here Okay, maybe flashing would be a good option, like here. Um, I don't really need to move back, I think. Maybe not to get too exposed, yeah, uh, not such a bad idea. When it explodes. Let's go this way, this guy, go this way, taking cover, and this guy will take cover sooner. Mm, those guys will have a pretty good vision on the next room. Once this one is in place. I can uh, move inside. This guy can move here to 
take cover. And once this guy is in place, <coughs> these guys can move around. Checking this door. And this guy will also check the door. This guy can advance pretty peacefully here. Maybe have a quick check. this door so maybe I should move like this no maybe like this this guy will be the the color for this entry uh -huh. I have to be careful about this and this maybe this guy should come first yep then this guy could um, go behind him without with while keeping this area safe part is clear he can check uh, the small room here room with the other guys this way this way and this way so this guy wants to check the final door guys covering the, the final door and uh, let's go like this all right oh we forgot to check this one and I'm not sure we have enough time you know what let's use this guy and instead of checking this final room he should maybe go here and uh, he didn't use his flash so he can flash the final room here then go here and check it Okay, let's 
see how it plays out. Flash. What I could do actually is have this guy covering the door. I don't want you to look at this point. Okay. It's a bit early. is cleared already this one too and this should be pretty safe with the flash okay let's try it it will start here nice room this guy okay nice nice shot this should be empty this is safe all right nobody here cool and this looks empty one guy in the final room two guys Nice flash. Nice. Cool. I love the first double shot. <laughs> Kill. of misses okay can wait to implement the new uh, moving speed it will add a new layer of choice interesting choices and hopefully it should change a bit the, the gameplay when you you are approaching uh, an open door I think the the malus they get from Moving when shooting at people is too high. When, when your unit is moving, it has a lower chance to, to hit target. But I think I've set it to to be too high, actually. That's part of the balancing I'm working on right now. Okay, guys. Um, thank you very much for for watching the stream. I'll put the replay on uh, YouTube and, uh, and Twitch. Uh, see you see you next time and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you want to see the next uh, videos. And also please, please, please we add uh, the game to your wish list on Steam. I'll, I'll give you the URL here. Uh, it helps me a lot to get the, the, the game more visibility and also it will uh, allow you to get the notifications when the game releases uh, and when new events will be posted like uh, streaming or, 
or uh, play, play testing. If you want to play test uh, the game, by the way, you can join the Discord. I'll put the URL back too. And if you join the Discord, so you have the playtest uh, channel where you can uh, you can apply for the next uh, playtest session. Thank you very much. See you next time. Bye bye.